We're outside Westminster again to support our reps who are giving evidence to the MPs today. There's a Welsh Affairs Select Committee here today that are asking questions of tax with regards to their business decisions. You can multiply that number by four or five realistically with regards to the knock-on effects of the contract, the population and the supply partners. It's the biggest employer in the area, it's the biggest contributor to the economy in the area, but it's massive up and down the Enfield Corridor, so we've taken on people that have left other industries that of course like the mining communities and accepted them into ours. The steel industry goes, there's nothing else. They're not just throwing workers under the scrap heap, they're throwing our national security under the scrap heap as well, because we'll be the only country in the G7 that can't produce virgin steel. United have put forward a credible plan that not only protects the steel industry, it also protects the environment and it's a just transition for workers in our communities. We've shown that the steel industry is set to grow. We've shown that the demand for green steel is set to grow. We need to be able to meet that demand and the pressure we're putting on them can bring about those choices. Sharon Graham has brought the Labour Party to the table in that respect. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's why we set out this three billion clean steel fund. As a result of that, Tata have come to the table and said they're open to the idea of further investment. <laughs> Tata have given an indication in the meeting today that they would potentially look again, for example, at building a, a direct reduced iron plant. They might consider, as we have called for, locating scrap processing jobs on the site as well. So we think there is an opening here. Yet again, we heard the sort of flimsy excuses that they've given before for why they're not investing more, despite the fact that Tata globally is an extremely profitable company. They have money to invest. Tata have given over 1.9 billion to their shareholders over the last few years, all at the same time as pleading poverty. They're making different choices elsewhere. There's massive investment gone across Europe and gone into India. They bring the blast furnaces online. We want to send a message to Tata that we know that they're not serious about climate change. This campaign's going to escalate. It's only the start. It's our livelihoods we're fighting for and, and we're here for the fight. It's time to get behind the workers, let's support the steel industry and let's back the fight for UK steel.